Day May 11th, and I'm back to do the new homeschool room after video. I did the before video and then set up the room right after, and we've just kind of been using it that way this w past week. But I got busy, so I could not um, film the result yet. So here I am I'm at the door. All right, let me pan over closet. You can see most of the games are here, stacked to the ceiling, which is why I need utility shelves because you know I'm only five feet tall. There's some science and geography or uh, physics kits up there. The brown boxes are a microscope. So, yeah. Down here are most of the preschool games that they can reach by themselves. And I needed somewhere to put them. And I needed somewhere to put this unit. If you watched the last video in July, you will see where I had the unit. But it works. Some of the baby stuff. Their um, manipulatives that we had in the kitchen. Cabinet for science are in here. Their trays are down there in the pink bin. Some listen, Doug. Magnetic puzzles. The animals. Over here I have uh, Dollar Tree stuff. I said borders and posters and stuff like that. Over here, I don't have the pantry anymore, so you will see I repurposed these bins and it works. Their leap pads and things like that are in here. Geo Genius. This giant foam map puzzle. Learn a Bible verse so we can get into it and start using it. Connects, gears, Legos. So. And then down here, just um, I did this haul in October. It's stuff that we will get into from the Dollar Tree this summer. But for now, it's here. All right, randomness. All right, there's the door. Boxes I need to break down, but a calendar clock pocket chart I needed to get out of the box here I set up the cork board and I framed it this time with Sesame Street because it grabs their attention in fact the baby should be 18 months in a couple days she was calling um Abby I was calling her Rosita and she kept saying Abby and I finally looked at it and realized it was Abby so yeah my a couple of uh, dry erase markers and eraser here's the whiteboard I hung it low this time for the little ones I have another plan once I paint that will come that video will be in the fall once I finish you can see um, I'm sketch my um, notes for May in here we do um, unit studies for geography and culture and things like that oh goodness we're in the USA, we're learning Massachusetts starting in Boston. We're in the world, we're learning Africa starting in Gambia. For women's history, we're learning Phyllis Wheatley. Phyllis Wheatley was a slave from Gambia that was bought to Boston. So, there you have it. And we'll be doing that probably for the next couple of months because Africa is huge. And we learn everything. Then over here, I have my computer yeah. set up, and yes, we do have internet again, and um, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah. A couple of magazine holders, kind yeah. of messy right now. Timber Doodle, uh, which your preschooler needs to know. Yes, I have two of them because one of them is a gift I need to get in the mail. Um, Hello Kitty, because I love Hello Kitty. In fact, mail. I have mail here just now getting set up. Somebody is waiting for their child's pen pal letter. He will get it. My fail, I should have waited until we moved. And right now, I need to find envelopes and stamps. So as soon as I get that, he will get his letter back. Because I know you're watching. Um, file folders. And then I have, um, what do you call that stuff? Uh, laminating pouches, file folder games, because that's what I'm working on. 
down here I have this little cart that's going to stay here. It has lacing cards and a lot of puzzle pieces I had to pick up and move moving. Just tiny puzzle pieces uh, or puzzles, things that I don't want them to mess with. Um, their art smocks. What are you doing? File box for son's work so it can be checked. And my little go-to caddy that I just put my resources in is there. Um, my homeschool. I t here's my, my little binder. So I took my notebook out because I've been busy taking notes. So, um, yeah, that goes in there. Uh, chair will move. It is going to be a desk once I get a desk. Yes, ma'am. TikTok. Tic Tac, Toss, and Score. That's for son to play with the little one. Um, get a clue that I got for Good Friday. Hooked on phonics, hooked on math. I Yes, I use the 86 original version on cassette because I prefer it. The kids have all learned to read at three. Um, my older ones loved it. And it just kind of, they take away with the newer version. They take away some stuff, so I prefer the, the older one. But I do have a new hooked on math. Random books from the kids' room I need to repurpose or re I need to move. Um, so that's there. And it is raining again. It's always raining here. Okay, this little unit we had before has their work boxes in here. If you want to know what's in it, just shoot me a comment and I'm not going to go into it. Here we have Bible. And it just kind of fits here. There is some overhang, but that's why I use the bin. But I need that stuff in there. Here we have a lot of random upper grade level stuff. Nutrition curriculum for upper grade level. This little uh, card thing for the baby because she kept pulling it out. So I put it up top. We have a Becca in here in the magazine racks. We have our holders. We have coloring books. We have what's in here. Uh, the kids have a magazine subscription. Sai, really? My keyboard? So that's what's in here. We have some highlights in here, some uh, Ranger Rick, stuff like that. In here we have these Target kind of workbooks, some dollar store workbooks. In here we have preschool workbooks and these Dollar Tree sticker workbooks. File folder games that will not fit. And I need to label all of those. Reference books, sight words, file folder games, some my books I just kind of stuck in here. Let's see what's in here. Um, I gotta love Super Nanny. And a couple of encyclopedia. Our reference books. Moving around, chalkboard. I need to hang it. Once I get some more hardware, our pocket chart, because um, we're going to start using it again. I'll get into that in a separate video. Okay, pan out to the wall. Down here, okay, down here we have two drawers full of wooden blocks. Up here, I took the bin from the pantry. And I started with the bin for the baby. And yes, chaos. She's upset she can't go out. It's raining. Um, but I started the bin for the baby so she can get into her books because these are the books from their room. And it actually worked. Because a lot of these kind of books get lost on the shelf. So, I put them in there for now. But there is no seating in here. They're on the floor for now. But once we get seating, this stuff is going to move. But the baby will take these mats, these little nap mats, and I have some more of them. And she'll pull them out and lay on them and read. So that works. There's a little bin. This one has fridge phonics, Melissa and Doug puzzles that will not fit in the puzzle rack. And so let me move to this wall. My kid is really screaming. Target cubes, and then we have to the right our puzzle box and some big uh, Disney storybooks, Spanish, 
I stuck light right up there at the clock. Uh, let's go down here. This is all their reading stuff. You see Bob books, the little kids. Down here we have CD-ROMs. There were um, extra school supplies, but I have to move them because now they know. And I have no markers anymore. They took them all. Mailbox magazines. Paper tray. Um, what's down here? Their Texas edition math books. Those are kinder. I don't think there's a grade one down there. What your third grader needs to know. All those books are down here. Here we have nutrition, some animal cards, uh, reference books. Up here we have our Southwestern books and our Explore and Learn Southwestern books. We have Alpha Phonics here in this weekly curriculum guide. Here we have a mix. There's science books, there's craft books, there's Bible craft books, cookbooks, sign language books, construction paper, all kinds of white paper, their art paper. Down here we have homeschool catalogs. I think some of these I kind of rearranged, but pretty much everything went back in here the way it was. Here we have sons, um, uh, what do you call these things? Chapter books. I have these things I need to hang again, and yes, they are laminated. Um, here, yes, because we're studying Africa. Here's the wall. Is that poster? Um, son's uh, curriculum. Uh, this is his history. We use uh, Joy Hakeem. This is actually Sunlight. Um, I think it's Core 100. And this is the only part that I purchased because it's the top one, it's top history curriculum. It's very engaging, and this will take him all the way through high school. Um, spelling. We have uh, literature. So all of this up here is uh, middle through high school curriculum. And this does not go here. So everything they need. English calculus, um, geometry, just everything is here that we use. Geography, Spanish for upper grade level. The bookcase is semi organized. Here we have a lot of our us born stuff. This has to do with um, the world, maps, uh, space, things like that. But we have a lot of little books that need to be. I know what's up here, but the kids don't. So. National Geographic, East Asia. From here all the way over here is African American. So we're using all, a lot of these during um, our time in Africa. As you can see, we have Virginia Hamilton. We have the cassette to go along with that, too. And the people could fly. Down here, we have little golden books. Here we have, these are mainly about animals and uh, ocean animals and things like that. The bottom is really random. Um, it's a lot of books that just didn't have anywhere to go. They wouldn't fit in the bin. But little people. And here we have a lot of the babies counting books. Alphabet books. Here we have big books. There is the big map book. I'm going to pull this all the way out. But that or Atlas. Um, there's a big floor map. U.S. map. The Judy map. Here we have more manipulatives. Burger King because that's where we stopped when we were moving. And my little drawers here. Just some randomness right now. I need to reorganize flashcards. That one's pretty much stayed the same. More flashcards. And then there's a game down there. And then this little unit did have um what like a lot of their unit studies curriculum books, but I took them out. So they're on the shelf now. But my paper uh, punch thingy, <laughs> stapler, my laminator, and then I took the utensil organizer, the kitchen utensil organizer, and you can see crayons, pencils, glue, sharpeners, that kind of stuff.
are in there and it works. Down here, school supplies, paper, pens, pencils, folders, all that kind of good stuff. There are little learn to letter notebooks with the line paper. That stuff is in there. And down here, more school supplies. So, a couple of little random games, but this is going to work for now. So, let me go back around the room. And yay, I did this in a reasonable amount of time. So, here we go, back around the room again. There in the room, let's see. I, I want to say it's 16 by 12, I think is what I came up with. So, there we, go. we have to work on stabilizing this, but. There we go, minus the closet. Here is our new room. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave me some comments, feedback, what have you. And yes, I did end up moving the cubes because like I said, I am going to get another set. So once I can get to Target, I'll get another white set and I will stack. So we will have even more so so far no hauls because I have not been out my truck is in the shop so we will get out and explore the new city where lots of stuff lots of cultures down here the Alamo all kinds of stuff but um, until then bye Wanna say bye bye? Say thanks for watching. No, thanks for subscribing. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>